Yo, welcome to Flying with Lauren, part of Art Fly Learn. Right, so today I wanted to do a read for all of my Earth signs. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is for you guys. So I've picked you a load of cards. Let's start turning them over and see what's what. See what they're saying for you. Right, I see quite strong energy here. So this tells me that um, you're trying to manifest some form of security for yourself. So I see that you are like um, stepping up to something either with work-wise, something that's going to bring you in very strong foundations with money. This could literally mean um, aspiring to get like a new work premises or a new home or something which is going to give you the stability that you need because you're trying to close off a cycle where you maybe didn't have that before. It's just like, I need to start afresh. So there's definitely an energy of wanting to start afresh because you've got the death here. So you're trying to transition from something that you... Um, had before or a way that you were doing things before and you've realized that I can't go on like this and something has to give you've got to have some form of change so you're trying to muster up all the power and all the knowledge and all the wisdom that you've got within you to make this happen before I think that you um, were slightly blocked for some of you this could be a male energy it's like this is slowing you down or, or maybe the um, focus on this male energy or having to give your time to this or it could even be this male within your life. It's like, I'm sick of waiting around, hoping that I'm gonna get this help that I need. I need to manifest something for myself. Or maybe if you're a male watching, it could be you potentially um, dragging your feet on something. It's like, no, I need, I need to move forward. I feel like I'm stuck and I feel like this is no good. Like I need to, my heart space is telling me that I need to act and I need to um, get into something much healthier because there's something about the environment that you're in, um, which, which feels like it's it's not going anywhere like you're you're not quite getting out of the bit and it's something to do with your security or yeah something that you've been working on so i see all that you, i see um for all of you that you you need to heal from something you also need to connect to your wishes these wishes it's something that you've spent a lot of time on um it's something that you're yet to spend a lot of time on. So you want to make sure that they are lasting. So whatever this big move is or this big transition is, it's like, I need to know that I'm going to be all in when this comes, because I know that this is something that I either want for the rest of my life or that I'm going to do for the rest of my life, whether this is either work or in terms of like a home or something. Um, I think before you had some form of skewed vision. I think maybe there was something around you or maybe you're trying to clear an energy of somebody around you because um, you've got a goblin in your system so it's like someone who wanted to help you but you're kind of seeing the childishness of this person and I feel like this is driving you mad a bit um, I feel like you need to separate yourself from this type of energy so this can become a block for you as well so you need to make your circle smaller and have only around you the people that you know that you can trust because the person who is within your life that you feel you're getting this childish behavior from is quite egotistical so they might just say some things and it's like oh get over it or or how immature or whatever it is that they're doing or saying it's like it's grinding on you um, and i think before you're willing to put up with it because maybe they were helping you with something um but no and now i feel like you need to um vibrate higher you need to kind of put put yourself in the forefront of what it is that you would like whatever it is that you want you only want healthy relationships if they're not um if they're not healthy or they're not strong or, or they're not on your team or whatever it's like no i need to kind of separate this energy from my own this is definitely talking about um you've got the energy of another definitely within you because you've got the two of clubs uh, this is a friend someone that you um have good communication with or or if you don't have good communication, it's like it's like saying that you're expecting some form of communication back into communication. Again, there could be a childish ele element to this. It's like it's like that if this is a childish sort of energy, it's like you need to stop trying to get in this point scoring type energy with the five of ones here because it's wasted energy. I feel like you're both within that energy, but you're, you're in it for the same, like you both want the same thing. So you both want something about independence. Since I've done this reading, my throat's gone really tight. So I'm thinking that you guys aren't, you need to speak, you need to use your voice. So I feel like there's a lack of communication or something that, that's not been said or that you're not clear about something with this other person. 
the, in fact the song that just came into my head was that the whole new world and i can't remember is that aladdin but yeah anyway it's like a whole new world so this whole new cycle is about to shift so these are very big decisions that you've got to make so there's no room for this childish behavior or people who um poke you or you know like it's it's just it's wasted energy and that's what this is saying it's again it, every time i look at that goblin that it chokes my throat so you either need to say this to the person or you need to clear something that hasn't been said i want to know why the relationship card's here because we're definitely looking at the energy of another person because this is somebody within either your family relationships or um someone that you have prospects of having a relationship with or maybe that's the problem let's see yeah you feel stuck you feel stuck because of um because of this connection or this person maybe they've given you some form of help that now you feel that you need to give back or maybe they haven't given enough right so with the ten of swords here i'm feeling like again you need to separate yourself from this energy with it's your wake-up call it's saying look my life needs to move forward i can't stand at this crossroads forever so if you're in an energy of waiting because of something to do with this person you need to give yourself the your own energetic green light you need to go look i pick me i pick me i'm not i'm not waiting i'm not um i'm not playing games i'm not i'm bigger than that i see i see this for what it is now i come from a completely different perception before i couldn't see the wood for the trees and i was kind of blinded by whoever was actually just willing to help me but now i see that you are definitely stronger and you want to yeah you want to bring about this new beginning um for your own heart space or for your family so some of you might have young children and it's saying look i choose them and I, I need to be strong for them I, I choose me i choose these new beginnings in this new heart space myself what else do we need to know for earth signs right so some of you i feel um don't know what to invest in so i feel this could either be monetary wise um your finances or you're quite daunted by something financially which feels quite big so if this is maybe a house it's maybe thinking where do i place this sum of money um if this is business it could be that you need to make a large investment investment or you've got an invest or you've been given a sum of money like an inheritance or something that um you want to be best placed or it's like you're waiting on an inheritance there's, there's, there's something about um waiting and it's something about something financial so i feel like it's burdening you a bit because you have an uncertainty about what you're going to do or what your next step is or even maybe potentially it could be about debt it could be about something that you owe which feels colossal because maybe it's something that you're not looking at it could be something that you've borrowed it could be something that you've borrowed from parents or from somebody younger but i just feel like you need to get your money secure i think you need to know what your money is and you need to make sure that it's secure for your next step because you need to be grounded in every step that you're going so um because this next step is so big it's like you need to clear out anything around you that is stealing your energy or stealing your attention or stealing your thoughts um and with the death card here you need to transition so that your path ahead is really clear so that you aren't stuck i feel like instead of being stuck here you can't you can't take either direction or you can't take either path because you haven't committed to something or there's something which seems much bigger than it actually is if you were just to try and chip away at it or to deal with it like i said if it's not if that does, if that's not the message for you it's saying there's an element of time collect, connected to you being able to make this new move but what it stands for or what it's going to bring is some form of success for some of you you need to do some more research or you need to um do a bit of spying looking into something about what this next step could be or how you would go about um unburdening yourself or how you can try and speed up something to do with this money flow i feel like it is something financial or something money flow wise but i i see that you're wanting it because you want it for your family there's lots of cards about kids here as well so i feel like you're trying to protect you're trying to protect them six is though it's about celebration it's about success so stick in keep seeing clearly make sure that you're not um surrounding yourself with people that think that they know it all with the wisdom card next to it this is about emotional baggage as well so if you've been holding on to anything emotional try and move through these emotions and separate yourself from them so i feel like there's some anxiety or something maybe i need somebody to help me with that so is there somebody directly in your circle that you could speak to about this situation or whatever it is that you're trying to do or whatever you're trying to move forward with but definitely this could be assisted but there's some form of emotional baggage that you need to leave behind because i see you going through every single emotion if you think about the moon 
that has 28 different cycles. So it's like 28 different types of moods. It's going one day I'm fine, one day I'm like this, and then like, ah, it's too much. So definitely the emphasis is on talking. You need to be the charioteer. So you need to pull, push your own life into the direction that you want it to go, but you need to be very clear. And that's why my, my voice was choking up before, because this is definitely about communication. So you need to speak your truth. You need to speak to the right people that are going to help you move forward. So if this is a relationship, you need to have open and honest conversations. And this could be any form of relationship, whatever that situation is for you. I just, yeah, King of Swords. It could even be with somebody that you're not speaking to, if that is the problem. What else do my earth signs need to know? What else is spirit trying to tell them? Yeah, Queen of Swords. So you know how I was saying about King of Swords, Queen of Swords? You could have very strong people around you. This could be a very strong female in your life. It, with the card before, it could even be that you've got slightly pushy parents and they think that they know best for you. And it's saying, look, no, you don't. I need to, I need to get things sorted for myself. It, it, again, that's a very niche message. That might not be for all of you, um, Earth Signs. For some of you, it's just saying, look, I don't want to be taken advantage of and I'm having to toughen up. I have to have better boundaries. And I need to be strong because um, I want to move forward. I want, I, want to, I want to be happy and I want to get out of this situation, whatever I'm in. I want the nice things in life and I, want, I, need, to, I need to dedicate myself to my security and my future. I can't be messing around with people um, who are either playing games or are weaker or there's something about that type of energy. You, just, you want it both. You want it all. You want your ten of gems and your ten of hearts. You want to be happy. You want to be wealthy and you want to be happy. You want security and, you, and, and that is on your mind and that's your focus and that's your promise from these cards that's what spirit's trying to say you don't have to choose you can have both you can bring about that there you go so you are the emperor so you can bring about that security for yourself you can manifest these things so again this could be um this could even be if you're a single female this could be a masculine that you're waiting to well not waiting you should never wait um, but it could be a divine counterpart type energy where that's what this behavior is going in around you. And then that, because obviously with the relationship here, it's, it's like you're sick of all of this um, slow energy and you just kind of need to get to where you want to get to. I want to be, I want to have both. And, and it's because this person is dragging their feet with something, they're not investing or, or you feel that they haven't fully invested in you. But you're waiting for them to gain, get that inspiration to actually see your value and to move towards you. Um, or, or maybe that's where the block, sh block throat chakra is. For many of you, this could be you as a masculine watching it, saying, look, I need, to, I need to think about my job, I need to think about my finances, and I need to maybe clear something up around my finances um, to create these solid starts because I need to make my next move. This has to be a big move because it's about my security and my family's security and my future security. Separate yourself from any... Um, I just feel like maybe you've had something going on around you which has kind of made you rub your head. It's made life feel a bit um, shit. It might just be how the circumstances that you found yourself in. It could be the loss of somebody. It could be any of these things. It could be, but, but because of this time that's gone on, um, I feel like you've had a lot of introspection. This is all cards of worry. So I feel like you've had so much go on, um, Earth signs. You've had so much mental torment because look at all these are swords. You've been driving yourself mad and people around you have been driving you mad. And it's this whole um, feeling like you can't do anything. It's this feeling of being stuck and having to sit around and waiting. And there's an energy of waiting on this other person as well. But that's what you need to close because that's when you realize that you are everything that you need and you have all the tools that you need to make your next step and to do the next thing for yourself. You have choices. It's you being the strong one. One message, one final message. Yeah, for many of you, this is a relationship. So you need to be equal with another person or that's where you've been going, questioning everything going, oh my God, which path? Where am I going to live? Where am I going to do this? Where that? But the, there might be a relationship coming in. It's something that you've been waiting so patiently for. I just want to see what the um, omen is for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, many of you, this could be a relationship. So you could either be doing all this in the name of love, so for your family, for your partner, you wanna be that person, or this could be you with the promise of love. So you've had all these obstacles and all these hard lessons because you're trying to manifest this divine connection. This is definitely, if it, if it is you as a single person watching, it's like you're trying, to, you're trying to make this other person step up into their emperor energy or their empress energy, switch it if it's... Um, and, and you are so authentic. You do everything out of love because, because um, you choose you. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. Ah! 
love it. So I told you, so many of you, this is a fated relationship, which is why it feels so tough. That's why you've got so many cards of going, oh my God, just come. Like, what is going on? And you're both feeling the same thing. You're both sitting in that energy. You both want the same thing. You're still questioning it, but look, there's the, there's the relationship, but that's what's promised. So if you are in that, um, this energy here, this relationship, which feels static, but it, you know that there's some value, or you know that there's a next thing, or I just feel so, you can't get any more. I'm not even going to pull another card on that. It couldn't be more powerful, the message. Um, so if that is for you, my Capricorn people, drop it in the comments for my Virgo people or for my Taurus people, drop it in the comments. I want to hear, let me know if it resonates and I hope you'll come and fly with Lauren soon. Make sure you give this a massive like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and most importantly, take care till we chat again. Peace out.